Hi there, my name is Larry Holcomb, aka Get to Know, and welcome to this video series on the D16 Silverline Reverbs and Delays Explained. So, in this video series, we're going to be looking at the D16 Silverline series, whereas previously I focused on the distortion and kind of dynamic processes. In this video series, we're going to be looking at in detail at the reverbs and the delays. And we're going to start off in this video looking at Space Rec. Now, Space Rec is a room reverb plugin and it has a huge amount of detail in terms of the way that it can create early and late reflections. So it comprises a virtual space simulation, which takes into account the position and orientation of the sound source and also the microphone within that space. And it also takes into account the acoustic properties of the space. And it takes all of those aspects in when creating the kind of early reflection sound. It then has a dynamic delay network, and this is used to create the late reflections. And this is kind of based on the early reflections, so you get that kind of coherence between the initial reflections of the sound and also the late reflections. These two aspects, the early and late reflections, are going to work together to create a very, very kind of true representation of a virtual space but without too much of a hit on your CPU. Okay, so let's have a look at the interface to start with. So first of all, at the top here, we have the preset management. So if we click on here, this is the same for the other D16 plugins. We have access to user presets as well. If we click on there. So you can see we've got plenty of presets to choose from. We can filter these as well like so, by brightness and also by size. And close that down, like so, and we can go previous and next. We can also save a preset by clicking on the save button and entering in a name. So below the preset management section, we have the kind of nuts and bolts of the plugin, which is where the signal is going to be processed. From left to right, we have pre-delay, which allows us to create a little space between the dry sound and the reverb. We're going to come onto that, so you're going to discuss all these in a lot more detail. The reverb model, which you can access by clicking across here. And you can see we have plenty of different reverb models to choose from. Then we have the ability to change the direct level, early reflections, the late reflections. We have an EQ here as well. We can work in mid side. We have a basic low cut, a dry wet balance, and an output volume and an output meter. Okay, so before we dive in and have a look at this reverb, let's just bypass it. For this video, I've got a basic kind of breaksy kind of ravey idea. Let's have a listen. For this video, we'll focus on the drums. There's a little bit of uh, spatial effects in there, but we should be able to use those to demonstrate the parameters of space rate. Okay, so let's dive in and have a look at the signal processing. So we're going to come back to the pre delay. We'll start off with the reverb model, which is obviously a very important part of this plugin. So this is going to define the character of the reverb. So it's going to dictate the physical and acoustic properties of the room, the dimensions, the damping, and also the scattering. It's going to determine the position and the orientation of the two sound sources left and right. You can see them there. It's also going to determine the position of the microphones. You can see those here. And as well as dictating the position of microphones, it's also going to determine their orientation as well. So obviously from this display, we can see where the speakers are positioned, where the mics are positioned and their orientation and also their distance here. And you can see on the right here, we can hone in on the mic setup and also the space, so it's showing us the width of the space, the length of the space, the scatter, and also the damping as well. Now, the name at the top here is very important. So first of all, we get a name that describes the type of room. So this is dark, long room. And then we have three different entries here. So the first is the speaker setup number. The next is the microphone setup number. And next we have the stereo mode. So if we click on here, you'll see we have a series of different entries for this room. So we've got three for dark long room. So it's telling us we're using the first speaker setup and you can see all three of them use the same one. Then the microphone setup is different here. So we've got three different microphone setups. If we load them up, you'll see here's a different one. Different one again, different one again, but the speakers are remaining in the same position. And also we have a third setting here, which tells us whether we're using left, right or mid side. So let's try some of these out on the drums.
And something I should say is we can actually lock the dry wet amount here so we could go through some of these and not have to change the dry wet. So you can hear we've really got a great variety of different spaces to play with here from kind of very, very small spaces to much, much bigger spaces. So loads of flexibility. So really the idea here is that you're going to be using the reverb models like kind of presets that you can then tweak from here. So we can't go through and change the sound source and drag things around. But what we can do is come and kind of click on one of these presets to find one which matches the kind of thing we're going for. And then we can tweak from there. We'll talk about how we can tweak, obviously, as the video series develops. OK, so the pre-delay is going to allow us to create a little bit of separation between the dry sound and the reverb. Let's load in quite a small setting here. And we could do this for both the early and late reflections. So just to be clear what early and late reflections are, but early reflections are kind of the initial sounds that hit you when a sound's reverberating in a space. So it'd be the reflections coming from the, the floor, the walls, and the ceiling closest to you. And then the late reflections are kind of the, the tail of that reverb, so how long that reverb is going to last. And by dialing in differing amounts of early and late reflections, you can get kind of very different results with reverb. So a lot of people will use early reflections instead of late reflections or instead of having a reverb tail to set a kind of what you might call kind of a dry reverb. So they give space and depth, but it doesn't have the kind of negative effects of reverb, which can be kind of swallowing up the space in a mix. Okay, so as I said, we can have pre-delay for the early and the late reflections. Let's try out some pre-delay. So at the zero setting, the dry sound is fusing with the early reflections, so they're almost immediate. Now we can use this very effectively for creating space because when we increase the pre-delay, it's like the dry sound is closer to us and the space, you know, the, the early reflections are coming from further away. So it almost creates the feeling that we're in a slightly bigger space with the dry sound closer to us. That kind of feels like we're in a very, very small space, but the dry sound is coming from the same place as the reverb, essentially. But you can hear there's much more depth when we increase the pre-delay. Because we have that little bit of separation. Now, as I said, we can do this for the early and the late reflections. Now, on a program such as this, there's really not very much going on with the late reflections. Let's try something a little bit bigger. For example. So you can hear the late reflections being delayed there. Now this can also become kind of a rhythmic effect as well. So this, let me just grab my trusty helper, which is the Music Math plugin. This track is working at 150 beats per minute. So if we add 150 in here, this is a, a very cheap way of basically calculating millisecond values to beats of the bar at certain tempos. So we could say, okay, 50 milliseconds is a 30 second note. So we could create 50 milliseconds here, close to. So now we've got kind of the reverb acting like a rhythmic effect essentially. So every 30 second note, the reverb's coming in or, or it's gonna be delayed at a 30 second note. to a 16th note. So 
there we're creating depth. We're also kind of helping to kind of enhance the rhythm or change up the rhythm as well because we're using musical values to set this. And obviously there's nothing stopping us trying different values for both the early and late reflections. Let's try that. So it might not be right for this track because this is actually quite a fast tempo. So we have to be a little bit careful with reverb at fast tempos. But sometimes it can sound great. It can sound great on vocals as well and things like that. Okay, so that's going to be part one of our look at Space Rec. So in this video, remember, we talked about what the plugin is all about. We talked about the interface, the fact we have the preset management up here, and then we have the kind of signal pathway down below. We talked about the fact that we have reverb models accessed from here. I should say you can use this little set of arrows here to go through the presets and these are uh, preset reverb models which are kind of set so we have a sound source left and right and then a microphone position and orientation and you can see a diagram here exactly what's going on the mic setup is illustrated on the right here as well let's just close this down and we have a, a description of the space and the scattering and damping and we have the name of the space here it tells you which speaker configuration we're using which microphone configuration and whether it's mid side or left right we then talked about the pre-delay. So pre-delay allows you to separate the dry sound from the early reflections or the late reflections. We also touched upon what early and late reflections are as well. Now I talked about the fact you can use that to create depth because having separation between the dry and the early or late reflections helps create that, that kind of sense of front back depth. But also you can kind of use that as a rhythmic special effect sometimes as well, especially you know delaying the early reflections. It can work great on vocals. And anytime you want to kind of separate out the dry signal and the wet signal, but also potentially enhance the groove of a part as well. Okay, so now we've covered the reverb model and the pre-delay. Let's have a look at the direct early and late section to the right here. So I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.